Okay. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna start the jingle now, and then we start casting away, and we just have a conversation and see how it works out. Sure. I'll try not Here to get in your way, professional. Let's see what they're gonna do. Is it Overwatch? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the North American TWL 5v5 ladder. Live cast. We have a very special co caster today. Developer, dog, Matt, nephew, whatever you want to call him. Punching back. I don't care. We are going live. OTP against. Oh my god, the silencers. Oh, I'm so lucky. I silencers. Let's go ahead. Game is live. OTP on assault. Good they really spread out. Yeah, they're kind of playing out to all kind of sides right now. I'm looking at G going up the. I'm calling this Inferno right now on the right side here, this balcony. Uh, someone already died. Dude took out Saren. Yeah. Oh, I have to turn on the music actually. My bad. Took out Terran on the south, and they would taken over quickly the big parts of the map. Uh, looking at Silence's Daniel is gonna get to see someone here very soon, exactly the spot I was talking about before the match. Um, there's a friendly with him also in the spot I was talking about. I got so lucky here. Dude is moving up, he's gonna find an enemy very, very soon. He'll probably be taken out as I'm saying that. Oh, Portrait's taken out. Dying on the other side, and the last guy alive is oh, Daniel. Fully. And guess what happens? No, was it a double kill? I'm not sure. Either way. Uh, oh, okay. One kill for Daniel. He gets taken out quickly by Aaron. That's a very, very quick 1-0 for OTP, and we didn't act OTP. We didn't actually catch one single kill on the stream. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mentioned that before the cast. Yeah. It will be it will be very tough on a small map like this uh, with so much action with uh, currently limited uh, possibilities of, uh, of cast support here to actually catch all those kills. But I'm sure you guys will be working on that as well in the future. Hint, hint. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be great. Okay, 1 0 for OTP, and I promise, no, I can't promise, but I'm hoping we're going to catch at least a kill or two this time. Yeah. I, I, I want to see if uh, One Trick Pony takes over the. Uh, they really lock down both sides, uh, both side alleys. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're about to go live in just two seconds here. We're looking at the silencers. It looks like one of them is going to the south, north alley, my bad, and two, three guys actually staying inside the uh, summer spawn area. No, they're taking it really defensive here on the right. Let's look at the left. Front stairs. Oh my god, spanmate's coming out here. Raven trying to kill someone coming up. Uh, I just told you what it's supposed to be called. Inferno. Doesn't hit anyone on the balcony on Assault. They're very, very defensive here. Let's see where OTP is going. They already took the backside of the map. I went on the south balcony. And he can't see... Oh, that should have been a headshot right there. Doesn't get the kill. Is trying to get him nade now. Let's see if he gets, he gets it. He gets it. He gets the nade out. That should surely be a kill. It doesn't. It's not. Uh, again, Silence is now with two kills. Perry takes our Punisher, I believe that was in the yellow room. Uh, and Saren again with another nade to... <laughs> Daniel takes out Iron, it's going so fast. Here. <laughs> just feel free to just interrupt me and talk about whatever you see. I'm trying to get there with a the camera. Dude, he sees the enemy right on his left. Raven, oh, nice oh. kill from Raven. And Regis takes out Raven. That's the one we want situation. Regis has to heal himself, which gives us a tiny bit of breathing room here. Daniel is in his uh, favorite spot, it seems. That's just the spot he was assigned, whatever you want to... Whatever it is, uh, Regis makes his way up to the big big stairs, wooden stairs, uh, stairs of death. Uh, <laughs> decides not to go there, goes around the south, and probably is going to go up to south balcony. Um, I'm calling this area up here, if you guys don't didn't notice yet, the balcony. Divided in south and north, so you have a better idea on which side an enemy is. And he's slowly making his way up to the map, to the flag here. Um, we have two and a half minutes to go, a little more than that. And... If he remembers the last round, he could probably predict where Daniel might be. <laughs> but we'll see, slowly like crouching forward with, a, with his uh, aim dot up. Daniel's and watching that main hallway. I don't know if he's going to see Regis. No, he can't see him right now. There's a little there's a little uh, hallway there, so he's kind of protected. You can see it on the screen from Regis. Um, right. The question is, is he going to hear him now when he gets in there? Is Regis going around? <laughs> is he going to take the flag? We will just see in a few seconds. Oh my god, this is, they're getting really close to each other without knowing it. Who's going to hear who first? And we're getting really close now. It's going to... Uh, who do you think is going to win this firefight here? <laughs> uh, my money's on Regis. I think Daniel's going to be looking uh, too oh, far down. Oh, we could have seen him if you had just looked left, Daniel. <laughs> as this soon as he takes the flag, uh, Daniel's going to know where the enemy is. And he makes... Where does he move? Where does he move? He's not moving at all. Oh, there he, oh, he made it he's out. He's going to play catch-up. He's going to play catch-up the whole time. Uh, right oh. now, I think actually Regis is going to extract here. If Daniel doesn't run to the front very quickly. And he's doing that right now. Getting up on Inferno Balcony. He can't make it. Looking to the extraction. He's, he can't make it still. There he is. Oh, he's not going to oh. make it. Nice. That was very close, wasn't it? Oh, man. That was crazy. 
<laughs> I expected uh, Regis to come out the, uh, the the garage. I think that that might just be from watching the you know developers play a lot. Um, but um, uh, what's the garage? Yeah, little book that he did. <laughs> oh, the interior route. I get. I don't know why we call it garage. It should not be called garage. Oh, you mean you mean those windows there? Oh, I thought he was gonna come down the alley into this. Um, you know, uh, come out right next to the flag. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. But he, he button hooked inside the building. Um, I, I guess came out the same exit. Yeah, he came out the same exit here on the left side, and then got lucky because of these uh, structures you have in the spawn of assault, which kind of prevented the fire line uh, for Daniel to take him down, and guaranteed him a safe exit. Uh, third round starting up as I'm trying to fly through the building here. Yeah, it looks like silences are going a little more aggressive this time. Uh, more tricks and Saren getting ready to go around the north side. Let's follow these guys here. Oh, they're gonna, he's gonna find someone very soon here, Saren. Mortix, I mean. He's right on his left, he doesn't see him yet. Oh my god, uh, runs right into his gun. Regis says, thank you. Do takes out Saren as well. Big lead for one trick pony right off the start. Punisher is looking at PD, oh, you can't. Oh, he should have gotten that headshot there. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. No, oh, uh, Punisher's going down. Oh, dude is down as well. A uh, dude takes down Punisher, I mean. Last guy alive. Oh, dude should be flat. Trying to get to Daniel. Same spot as oh. before. Oh, oh, there were three enemies right in his view. Uh, and that was not good news for him. Uh, quick kill there. I'm um, just quickly checking, checking the chat here. Uh, okay, not a lot I can see. Um, one question might be interesting here from Rampage. Uh, what does the dev team think of the lack of objectives being completed in the matches that have been so far streamed? Streamed so far, almost all rounds have turned into death matches. I'm not sure I actually agree with the death match thing, but that's correct. We didn't have a lot of objectives completed. Uh, no, it, it is true, and it's something that we talk about. There's, um, you know, you you would always like to see more objectives happening. I think if if you design it, you want to see it getting used. But, um, you know, in practical terms, the we're asking one team to defend and one team to attack. Yeah. Um, you know, if everybody's doing their job, they're all going to fight around the objective at, you know, at best case scenario. Um, yeah. You know, best case scenario, you're asking both teams to, to kill each other off. So the best we can do is use the objectives for, um, yeah, to shape and, and mold the conflict where it goes. Where it goes um, oh, nice spam there from Prefire Perry. <laughs> can't even really do his name. He actually Prefired <laughs> Mr. Perry and got the kill with his Prefire. Oh, big flash, big flash in the uh, main hallway. Yeah, we'll go back to that question in just a second. I'm trying to find a couple more kills here. Uh, who are you watching right now? I'm um, in the main hallway. G has uh, locked down the. Oh, and he gets taken out all the way down by. Was that Daniel? Yeah. Daniel again, yeah. Oh, and he's going to see spot. another guy there. Uh, you can Prefire Perry can run the stairs. Yeah, let's see who's actually going to see. Oh, nice! Oh. Prefire Perry taking down his second <laughs> target here. I love this name. That's per that's really nice. <laughs> Four versus two, though, still for OTP. And Wartrix now taking Daniel's position and getting the kill as well on Dude. Um, he might want to... No, he's not going to secure him. Uh, oh, actually, no. We don't actually have revives in this match here. Unless... Yeah. I don't think we have any in the ladder, which I really yeah. enjoy. And yeah, here's... Oh, nice there's two guys here. Looking at Regis. So you gotta be a lot more careful, a lot more cautious with your approach because if you get taken down, that's just it for you and your team for the round. Uh, Iron now pushing on the side, he's surely gonna get that kill. You two guys, maybe? No, oh. nice. Taking down Mortrix, but Saren behind Saren him. him up. Regis is moving it. No. Nope. Uh, almost, yeah. One v one situation again. Saren and Regis, and he knows where he is. He's going to try to flash him. Yeah. Not almost hitting. Not hitting him. I mean. Oh. Oh, that's an intense fight. No, he's coming around the other side. We just got lucky. Uh, here we go. This is going oh, to be the final fight here. Okay, who's your, <laughs> money, who's your money on? Uh, no I, I gotta say, uh, Saren. Oh, yeah, he had him on. Yeah! <laughs> Saren he just actually, looked a little, bit, a little bit tighter on his, uh, you know, the way he was controlling the corners and, and uh, his timing. Yeah, I think your kids are also very happy about that first round for the silencers, which is <laughs> fantastic news uh, <laughs> for everyone watching the cast. I'd rather see a close match, obviously, than... Uh, something 7-0 again. Um, back to the question about the lack of objectives being completed. I think it is also oh. just part of competitive nature, really. Right, the right. Well, the other Go ahead. Sorry, uh, I mean, every time the defense has won, that's been an objective win. But, you know, given the way that we've set everything up, yeah. uh, um, you know, that's, that's really the only way they can win um, outside of uh, assault, you know, arming uh, a destroy objective and then defense um, disarming. Yeah. So... I think, um, I think one way to add these kind of things a little more would be to uh, create maps uh, uh, like we had an A2, like Insurgent Camp, 
where mm -hmm. you had basically two objectives in the completely different areas of the building and Assault only had to take one of the two to win the match. But let's go back into the round here. Oh, there's Absolutely. being a flash. Oh, how did... Oh, Saren actually did get flash. We just can't see it on the screen. And he's being taken out by dude. Uh, one nade kill happened there. I'm not sure who that was, but we're down to a 4v4. Daniel yeah. back in his favorite spot. I'm sure he's probably going to play that spot in public matches as well from now on. <laughs> The Raven and Iron are fighting over the uh, back balcony over here. And soon, uh, Dude will come up the north balcony as well and trying to find Daniel. Nice kill there from Prefire Perry against Raven. And now Daniel... Oh, Daniel isn't, isn't actually looking. Dude would have run right in there, but Daniel was checking the other side. And now Daniel might be back. Still not back. Just prefired him, going for the win now. Oh, there we go. First kill. No. Matrix is down. Oh, nice back up there from Regis next to Dude. And again, all left up to oh, Daniel. Daniel. No, he no, was no, not no. not looking at all. <laughs> he was not looking at all. I just realized we actually haven't um, we actually haven't talked about the rosters of tonight yet. Would you like to tell us the names of both teams? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the uh, names of both teams that we're yeah, the, the, not the names of the teams, now? but the players in the teams. I did, I'm not sure. I catch you. Uh, uh, okay. Names of the players on the team. Um, yeah, so for yeah. OTP, One Trick Pony, we have obviously Pre Fire Perry. <laughs> oh, I see what you're. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, you yeah, do might, that. Might be a little unclear. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pre Fire you, Pony, Regis, Iron Dude, and G. I don't think I've said that name tonight yet. I'm, I'm very sorry if I'm kind of ignoring you there, G, once you watch the replay. Uh, for the silences, we have Saren, Daniel, Mortrix, Raven, and Punisher. Uh, good thing to see, at least everyone has at least one kill so far. Um, but other than that, uh, we are going live into our sixth round, which is uh, the last round for this halftime already. Pre fire parry, pre firing again from his pre fire <laughs> spot. <laughs> Not hitting anyone this time. Saren, however, taking on Dude, which is very crucial here for the silences if they want to come back on the scoreboard here. Uh, nice job there by Iron, almost taking the kill, but kind of missing the shots there. I'm not sure who it was in the back. Uh, I'm not gonna play over it because I'm just gonna miss the kills. Uh, G not taking the kill, but we're just taking out more tricks. And uh, Raven, I think, is flanking right now. And he's being shot in the side as well. Three kills at once for OTP. Uh, and again, Saren is the last guy alive right now in the 1v3 situation. Do you think he can make it? Oh, no, not at all. Um, <laughs> it, 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 it was Vote of no, no offense, but um, it's been crazy seeing how these guys work together. Like, G has not made a Whoa. huge place, but he's really been locking things down. What a He's nice got some really big D. support nades, uh, really big crossfire. Um, it's been really interesting to see how these guys back each other up. Yeah, very true. Um, as I was saying, the thing with the two with the two bomb sites, uh, I don't want to call it bomb sites because that sounds too much like Counter Strike, and we don't want a second Counter Strike, of course. Oh but right. He said the same thing, really. Uh, something oh. like Insurgent Camp would be it would be probably a nice addition in the future. True, yeah, um, yeah. Um, all, all of the objectives we have right now are extremely straightforward. Um, and there's there's usually, you know, there's only one possible place for people to go. It's very, um, it, it, it forces conflict. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of um, room for, for you to steal the objective win. Um, really, I mean, you have to catch the defense, um, catch them off guard in order to get that objective win. Oh my god, look at, look at OTP right here. It looks like they're spamming, maybe, from spawn? Where is that going? Are you? St the way they no, they were just standing. G is throwing a nade. Where is that going? Oh, it's a flash, but it actually missed. You can throw a flash all the <laughs> on. Wow! By the way, one guy of silence is apparently idle here, Saren, which is not good news for his oh. team. Oh, that was probably Raven the last being thing. taken down by pre-fire parry. Oh, he maybe he crashed actually because he just left the game. Uh, very unfortunate. I'm not sure what the rules say about this kind of uh, stuff. If you got sick of me tainting right your cast. Yeah, in the tournament mode, you have the option to just call a setup round and then just make the round basically dead. A tournament mode, which will most likely be an APG in the future. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, that's that's basic stuff, you know. Yeah. Like uh, that's that really should have, probably should have been in here already, but. Uh, G taking down Mortrix, flanking all the way around. Oh, you man. just said you like the big flank, and G does exactly that and gets the kill. Uh, they need to replace Saren. They just said. I'm not sure. How this is going to happen now? The score right now, I believe, stays at six-one, and we might have some odd reset happening in the future. Let's see what happens here. What the teams do, I have no idea. 
gives us a little bit more time to look at the chat and answer more questions. Uh, oh, if sure. you see anything there, just go ahead and answer it or read it first and then answer it so they know what you're talking about. Um, two bombsites.